In Project Community, one Vermont couple is determined to use their art as a form of activism. Yeah, they're shining a light on people of color and bringing a new meaning to public art. I sat down with them as they reflect on their journey so far and their plans for the future. Jennifer and Will Condry could probably stand here and stare for hours. We were literally pulling all-nighters around the clock. They've spent over a year pouring their hearts and souls into this project. Their canvas, the ceilings and walls at the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center. This mural is their most recent baby. Henry Freeman and Mary Anna Anderson. Each face. Malcolm X credits him as being one of his mentors. And each story. We're very resilient people. Their motivation is clear. For the love of our people, mm -hmm. the stories that get lost or just kind of whitewashed over time, you know, it's like bringing integrity back to public art from a standpoint of blackness. They each have decades of experience under their belts, but have spent the better part of five years working on projects together since founding Juniper Creative Arts. They've spent a lot of time working with kids and the community on projects like this one along Pine Street and this one at Champlain Elementary School. One thing, you know, we want people to see, especially uh, children of color, is themselves. It's not just about painting pretty pictures. Instead, they believe an artist's duty is to reflect the times, using art as a form of activism. Tell our stories, the stories of our people, from a lens of joy and love and resilience. Inspiring hope and showing people of color in a way they're not often seen in public art. We melt when we hear young black girls, young brown girls in the state of Vermont finally say that they feel seen. That's part of what inspired them to use their daughter Alexa as the subject for their mural on the side of Champlain Elementary. Since she grew up in Vermont, not always feeling represented. It's awesome, it's awesome. It's the gift that keeps on giving because these murals have, you know, a life way after we're gone. Jennifer says she always knew she and Will had big things in store. The couple met back in 2012 at Middlebury College during a seminar. Four years later, Will moving here from New Jersey to be with Jennifer, creating what they love with who they love. We're telling stories that are not just ours alone. Their latest project being done in response to the racial justice movement of 2020 that took place on the heels of George Floyd's murder. This project depicting 100 faces Black people who have all made a lasting impact on the world. What do you want people to take away from your activism and just your work in art throughout the state? We care. We're in a very white state and we're in a very difficult time in just humanity. The couple has painted over 20 murals throughout Vermont. That's hundreds of paint buckets, countless hours of hard work, and even facing some naysayers. But it's their passion, one they'll keep pursuing, hoping to inspire conversations, even if it's their critics doing the talking. Well, we just keep going. We just keep going and because we care enough to make sure the story is told correctly and from a black and brown perspective. In Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.